Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to fold the Warthog by Jason Merrill in his book, Origami. And, uh, yeah, so as you can see, this turret can turn, and these other smaller turrets can also rotate. And, uh, yeah, let's begin. You want to use a 10-inch square sheet of foil paper, or foil back paper. And, uh, yeah, let's begin. So, you're going to want to start white side up. In this case, I am going to start colored side up because I want a white model. So, first, you are going to fold it in half. Fold the paper in half like that. Next, you are going to unfold and fold the edges into the center crease, like that. And you are going to repeat on the other side. going to fold and unfold this edge into the center but only crease a small part like that and you're going to repeat that on the other side and then you are going to Fold these edges down from the top point of the center and make sure that these points hit these creases that you made or intersect with them. And then you are going to repeat that on the other side. Then you are going to turn the model over, fold these edges into the center. Like that, and then you are going to unfold these creases so you can inside reverse fold on along them. So inside of wrist fold in and out along these creases. Or using these creases. And then you are going to pedal fold both of the flaps down. Like that. And... Mm -hmm. 
like that. Next, you are going to fold these edges in from that point, aligning them like that. And you're going to repeat that on the other side. going to fold these edges back over like that like that and like this and then you are going to Fold these flaps up, turn the model over, and fold these sides in along the edges you just made, like that. And repeat on the other side. Like that. Next, you are going to fold this side over and fold the edge to the crease there. And you are pre creasing for the tracks. And then you are going to unfold and then take this crease and fold it over to that edge. Then you are going to unfold, fold the side back, and repeat that on the other side. So fold this over, fold the edge in, Like that and bring that crease to the outside edge unfold and fold it back next you are going to rotate it and fold this top point down like that going to fold this flap over, unfold, and fold it over again, but on the other edge, and then you're going to rabbit ear fold it along those creases you made, like that, and repeat that on the other side. So fold the flap over, unfold, fold it over the other direction, and rabbit ear fold it. Next, you're going to rabbit ear fold these small flaps up. Like that. And then you're going to fold it down and repeat that on the other side.
and then you're going to unfold it back to step 16. So unfold those flaps all the way back out to here. Fold this flap up and then you are going to turn the model over and then you're going to fold this bottom edge up so that these corners touch these this intersection so you can turn it sideways and sort of fold them out like that so when it does touch the intersection, you can then just slide it back in and crease it. And then you're going to mount and fold this flap down using the same intersection. So just Fold it down like that. And then you're going to turn the model over. And you're going to wrap your fold this paper behind. Like that. You can fold this back up. And then you're going to fold this part up. Bring that paper out, unfold that, and then you're just going to push like that, and then just fold everything back. So you have it in this position, and then you're going to push down like that. Pull this over, like that, and then fold the paper over like that. And then you're going to fold this flap down and repeat that step on the other side. So fold this paper out. Fold part of this flap out, and then just outside wrap it around first, and then push, crease the part until this crease, good, and then you're going to push out, and just close everything up. Next, you're going to squash fold this layer over, like that. And then you're going to fold this flap down and repeat that step on the other side. And then you're going to squash fold this flap as well, making sure it's aligned before creasing. So like that. And then you are going to fold this triangle over until the transition between thin layers to thick layers, like that, and then you're going
going to open sink along those creases you just made. Like that. And then you're going to fold this edge in just a little bit. Like that, about that much. And then you are going to fold this triangle over or flap over, and then you're going to fold this top plate down, making sure the layers inside are kept together. As you do that, like that, and then you are going to fold this small paper that crosses over this edge back across the edge at least until it's off the edge like that and then you are going to return this side to that position like that And then you are going to take this edge of the flap, mountain fold it from that crease, and it ends touching the track. And while you're doing that, you're also going to tuck it inside. And then you are going to repeat the same on the other side. But the only reason is that it doesn't have this crease and the layer you are tucking it into is smaller. So yeah. And next you are going to fold and unfold this flap down in half like that. And then you're going to fold this flap down and you're going to repeat that on the other side or repeat that to this side. So fold the top pleat down, fold it back up along the edge. Fold the edge over, mountain fold the layer inside, and repeat on that part. Fold and unfold the layer in half. Like that. And then you are going to valley fold both layers over. And then you're going to inside reverse fold this flap up from about that intersection. Making sure it stands up vertically. So like that. And then you are going to use the crease that you made in step 34 and swivel fold this side over. And then you're going to swivel fold the other side as well.
And then you're going to stand the flap up, fold these sides over like that, and then fold these sides out and fold the top down, making a crease from that point to that point. That. And then you are going to fold all three flaps back and then rabbit ear fold the flaps up along the existing creases or at least to the side. And then you're going to partially rabbit ear fold these flaps up along the creases you made. So you're going to rabbit ear fold them but you are not, but you are stopping at the top like that. Then you're going to repeat that on the other side. So like that. And then you're going to fold this flap over and you're only going to crease along this edge and stopping when the edge ends or goes to a different angle. You're going to do that for both sides. Then you're going to tuck the edges you made under the edges you used to make the fold. Like that. And then you're going to end up with this flap standing up in the middle. You are going to flatten it. Like that. And fold these sides down. And also you're going to roll this flap under itself. But first you're going to fold creases along the edges you used earlier and make the crease also on the edge you made while doing step while you were doing step 46 and then you are just going to have these two flaps like that or at least have the model in this position you are going to now wrap this flap under itself and you can raise up these little turrets if you want. And then you're going to roll the edges down like that. And then just pop the sides out or open up the sides and pop or push in, push out on the part that doesn't lay flat. So that part you're going to push in on those existing creases and keep on shaping the tracks. And then this part is, is one of the most annoying parts of the model. You're going to start shaping it and it can get annoying if you are not using foil paper and if you are using foil paper i recommend you use you start on the foil side so the model ends up uh white or on the paper side so it looks a bit more neater but you can always start on the paper side and have a model that is finished on the foil side so you're just going to keep on shaping it until you're satisfied. And once you have done that, 
There it is. A warthog. And as you can see, these turrets can rotate up and down. And this can also rotate about 45 degrees if you don't want to mess the that part up. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed folding this and I will see you next time. Bye.